Hello, my name's Amanda. Uh, this is my vlog, Sweet Skein of Mine, and it has been a long time since I have connected and decided to do a podcast. I think I kind of lost momentum, um, but guess what? I decided Vlogmas, I'm going to give it a try. So bear with me. I'm such a rookie at this stuff, like technology, first of all, and then as for content, um, I don't know, we'll see. But I just thought I'm gonna give it a try and I thought it would be fun to create some memories. And also it could be an opportunity to unpackage everything I've been knitting the past, I don't even know how many months it's been since the last time I've done a podcast. Here comes Teddy. Come here, come say hi. This is my baby one of my babies, Teddy. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've done this and I've clearly knit a lot of projects. So I think my goal will be maybe every day, I'll just try to show a little bit of something that I've done. So first off, my name's Amanda. Um, I'm the dyer behind Sweet Skein of mine. I live in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and that's on the East Coast of Canada. Um, yeah, I'm so like not used to doing this, so I'm gonna be all over the map, but I'll just jump right in and talk about what I've been knitting lately, and I think it's kind of really a well-known pro uh, project that a lot of people have been doing. It is the Sophie scarf and the Sophie shawl. Um, as soon as I saw this, one of my girlfriends, June, she was making it, and then Michelle started making it, and I always feel like, oh, I have so many shawls and so many scarves, but this this one, I am hooked. I'm so happy I decided to knit this. It is the most relaxing project. It's mindless. I mean, you have to kind of keep track for when you're going to make it grow and when you're going to start to decrease but on a whole, super easy. So I decided to start off with the Sophie shawl. And it's by Petite Knit. I made the largest size. The yarn I used was a yarn that I got, I still have more. It's called Soft For You. I got this at the Knitter's Frolic in Toronto. And I went there, I think it was like 2017, and bought some three skeins of this. It's a DK, and it's got a little bit of cashmere in it. Anyway, it's beautiful, and I love the color. It's a perfect kind of neutral. It's probably showing the best right there. So I used one and a half skeins. I still have this left of the second ball. And each ball has... 328 yards. So I went for it and made the larger size and it's beautiful. I'm so happy I went with this color. I definitely need to make like a brighter one eventually, but this neutral has been perfect and it's so cozy. It's just, it's, it's an 80, 10, 10. So there's only 10% cashmere, but do you ever feel it? So I don't know if there's a colorway, it just says 0749. Um, again, I get it at the Knitter's Frolic in Toronto. Soft For You is the is the name. I don't know if they still die, but it's beautiful. And again, I'm so happy that I decided to use some of this that was in my stash for clearly years. So I did that one and then I jumped right into the Sophie scarf yeah so this is the sophie shawl the sophie scarf is the smaller version there's still a couple of sizes to make i made the larger one i used my yarn which uh it has same thing and 10 percent dk so it's an it's a 80 no sorry yeah 80 10 10 super wash merino cashmere nylon my colorway truly madly deeply it's like this brownie pink it's lovely, I love this color. So I did, again, the larger size. My modification for this one is I went up half a needle size, which brought me to a 3.75 millimeter. Um, I did the larger one again. 
but I love, love, love this project. This is perfect for, I feel like, all year round. A lot of people are like tying it on their purse or, you know, using it in their hair. There's a lot of ways that you could have fun with this little accessory, um, but it's a super quick knit. I love doing it so much. I'm making another one, so I'm starting Christmas knitting. And throughout the next few weeks, I'll show you some of the Christmas knitting that I have accomplished. But so I, I've cast on another one. This is in my colorway espresso martini. It's sold out right now, but I'm going to do more. I think next week for sure. It's a really great color, a nice neutral. So I just cast this on yesterday. So you just can fly through it. So if you need a good mindless knit I mean you have like I said you have to keep track of you know when you're increasing and then you decrease but easy and I think what a beautiful gift this is for someone to receive it's just you know it's a small enough gift that you know you can get out a couple to give away but also who wouldn't enjoy a little bit of cashmere around your neck and have this as an easy accessory so again, the petite knit, Sophie shawl, Sophie scarf, recommend it. They're adorable. And there, that's my project of the day to show you. Heading to the post office. I was on my way to the post office and I got an order. So I decided to come back home and pack it so that I can get these orders out in a timely fashion. I know what December mail is like. It is so windy out. I can't believe we woke up with power on. The wind woke us up at like two o'clock in the morning. I thought the roof was gonna like blow off. It was the craziest night and it's still super windy. You can see like, well, can't really see that, but, but it's warm, I'm only in a sweatshirt. What a weird day, I can't believe it's December 1st and I'm heading out in a sweatshirt. So another little tidbit of my day is a post office run. So for some of my content, I hope to uh, record some dinners or just, you know, some recipes to give. I know it's nice to pass on ideas to people, um, but tonight I'm going out for supper with a couple of my dear friends, Sarah and Bridget, and we're doing a gift swap. So I just wanted to show you what I'm giving to the girls because they're adorable. It's these pottery mugs and it's like the little thumbprint tumbler and they're made by a white's nest. I know everybody local knows who they are. They do amazing pottery, weaving, um, candles so I was at a craft show last weekend my last Etsy market of the year and they had these so I grabbed one for the girls and inside of it a little sachet of tea I'll put some candy in it and then also at the craft show there was a booth with these um, little mini embroidered Christmas ornaments so I'll be putting one of those in as well just wanted to share. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and, and the piece de resistance. Woo! A car wash. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and here's apparently a picture of us with a picture. Oh yeah, too many fingers. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I'm home from my supper with my girlfriends. We did a fun, hilarious gift swap, had a really yummy dinner, some yummy wine, and I'm in my jammies and I'm ready to go upstairs to wash my face and brush my teeth, but I forgot to do my advents. So I have um, one ad, well, two advents this year. I um, I have the Chelsea Lux. Christina and I um, we swapped an advent. We've done that the past couple of years, so that's fun. And I just opened it up. She had it in this cute little bag, and it's a Stellina mini with pale pink and brown and like a baby blue. So Shayna Billow put out a pattern today, a prey ski, and it's just for, um, well not just, but it's a, it's a pattern for your Advent minis. So I'm totally gonna look that up tomorrow. I didn't take the time to do it today, but um, yeah, I'm interested in trying something different than a blanket this year. And my sweet skein of mine Advent, uh, yeah, I kept one for myself this year, which I never do, but I thought it would be nice to have a knit along with especially some of my girlfriends in Fredericton that have my advent. So here's day one. I think the lighting is horrible in here. It's kind of dark, but it's gold and it's got some browns and fuchsia pink. So my advent, I dyed it intending to fade. So We'll see. Anyway, there's my first two minis, December 1st, and yay, I got day one of Vlogmas in. Time for bed. This is already like past my bedtime. So good night, everybody. Happy December 1st, and really hope I can download this okay. Have a good day, or have a sweet dreams there sweet dreams I will get back to this tomorrow and yeah ha I'll have some like different projects to share and yeah I have a few errands to run tomorrow so it'll be fun to take you guys along with me anyway good night I'll talk to you tomorrow <laughs>